Hey guys, what's up? I'm your host Raj and welcome to my channel 100 Days to ML. First of all, I would like to apologize as I was unable to post any video yesterday. So, to compensate it, I am here with two videos. In our first video, I would be explaining you the conditions, statements in Python and the for and while loops. Then we will move on to start with actual machine learning with linear regression. Okay guys, so let us look what are the conditional statements and loops in Python. Basically, there are three types of conditional statements in Python. If, elif or else if and else. And we have about five looping conditions. Those are for, break, continue, while and nested. To demonstrate this, I am going to create a list A of 12 integer values picked randomly. So let me just run this. So what does an if do? If checks whether the given condition is true. If the given condition is true, the action is performed. Over here the condition is length of A is 12. As we know there are 12 elements in our list A. So the condition is true. So it will go ahead and print true. Well, what if the condition is not met? If the length of A is equals to 5, which is false, so let us see what it does. It doesn't return anything because it doesn't have to as the condition has failed. So, what do we do if we want to know whether the length of A is 5 or not? To do this, we can use if and else statement. If length of A is 5, we will print true. Else, print false. So here, else acts as an exception. And if acts as try. So try whether length of A is 5, then print true. If the exception occurs, that is, if the condition is not met, print false. So we get false. Sometimes you may have to write multiple if conditions. For example, let's say if A equals to B, perform a task. Else if a equals to C, perform a task. Else, exception, perform the task. So, here we have if statement, if length of A equals 5, it will print true. Else, if length of A equals 12, it will print this statement. Else, it will print false. Let us try out what we get. So, it has passed through the if statement first and the condition is not met. So, it will go to the elif next. As the elif condition is met, the action that we have asked it to do will be performed. Now, let's move ahead to loops. The for loop acts as an iterator. Let's say I want to print all the values present in the list A. So for each and every value in A, I want to print them. How do we do this in Python? For that, we have to create a temporary variable, say i. So for i in A, what exactly does this statement do? Right? So i will start from 1 then move on continuously till 9.35. So, 
let us print i and see what it does right these are the values that are present in our list so for x as an iterator what is break break will break the statement for example let's say for i in a that is for each and every value in a for x in range of 1 comma i that is i want to start from 1 and pass till ith value if i percentile x equals to 0 if i percentile x equals to 0 here means if i modulo x equals to 0 print i equals x times x i x then if the condition is met this will break and this won't pass to the else part let us try to run this as you can see we have got this action performed and the break statement will break and program doesn't move on to the next statement what if we want to continue even if the first statement is met for that we use continue so if i modulo x equals 0 we will print the statement else we will print the other statement but we want to pass through both if and else so continue will does the work for us let me run this so here as you can see we get the required outcome perfect what is a while loop while loop is a time variable that is say for a particular while i want to increment something and perform a condition let's say i have a value count of integer one then for count less than 11 i'm going to print every value of count however let me tell you i'm going to increment count with one for every step so what would be the output of this it is from 1 to 10 as the count starts from 1 it will increment 1 by 1 time for each step so count less than 11 means it will continue till the 10th step and each step value will start from 1 to 10 uh, what is a nested if condition or nested for loop so if we want python gives us an option to work on the conditions where we have to iterate multiple times so for i in a that is for each value in a and for x in range of 1 comma i that is for every value in the range of 1 to i i want to print x so here we go we get the value of i we get the value of x however let me tell you in python we use four spaces indentation to mention that the next statement is within that loop so as you can see here 
we have got four spaces one two three four so we use four spaces for every value now for let's say for i in a print i i would get an inundation error thank you for watching my video hope you liked it and don't miss my second video for today thank you have a great day